guys and welcome back to my channel or if you are new welcome I'm Mand. So in today's video I wanted to talk a bit about fairy forts and why people have such a superstition around here in Ireland based on fairy forts. I don't know how common they are around the world or is there other countries that have them but here in Ireland there are like thousands of them so let's get stuck in. So you may be asking what are fairy forts. So they are circular mounds that are usually pretty overgrown. They're covered with either bushes or surrounded by trees and they're pretty much left alone because the belief is if you disturb a fairy fort you will either get bad luck and sometimes people have mysteriously died. But the belief is that the druids put a protection spell on these fairy forts so that nobody would disturb them. And if they did, like I said, they would get really bad luck. And there have been some cases where people have mysteriously died. It's said that these fairy forts have a lot of mysterious things happen there. So there's fairies, leprechauns and all sorts of spirits actually live in these fairy forts and if anyone is silly enough to disturb this they will be sure to um, have a lot of bad luck because these fairies and spirits will seek their revenge on those that have disturbed the fort. Stories about fairy forts have been passed down through generations. So if anybody is Irish, they'll probably have heard stories from their grandparents or their great grandparents or whatever's the case, maybe aunts, uncles, whatever. But I actually found some interesting facts that have been said about fairy forts. And one of them is that young boys back years and years and probably like decades ago, hundreds of years ago, they were dressed as girls because the people believed that the fairies actually stole boys and if a child died they believed that the fairies actually took them to their own world so that's why they dressed boys as girls or disguised them as girls so that the fairies would be tricked and that they wouldn't take them. Another fun fact about these is that there's actually thousands if I'm correct I think there's been said that there's 60,000 fairy forts scattered all across Ireland. Now, why they're called fairy forts, I will touch upon a small bit. So, back in the olden days, as they would say, these were actually circular enclosures called ring forts that were built to keep in cattle. So, they were to keep them safe at night. Now, as time went on, people moved from these circular enclosures because what they were built from wasn't really sustainable and they kind of either were damaged pretty easily or the weather just kind of wore them away. So they kind of just moved on and these forts were left behind. And it's believed that the fairies moved into these forts or as they're actually called the good people or little people, I think. And they moved in and they pretty much took these forts for themselves. They say that the fairies are the greatest protectors of Irish archaeology because farmers refuse to touch any fairy forts. So you'll notice that if there's land, a lot of them will leave them alone or they just, they just won't touch it because of this superstition. It's said that fairy music is the most beautiful music you will ever hear in the world and apparently if humans hear it they can't stop dancing so that's another interesting fact now the white thorn tree has the most beautiful white flowers for us who have allergies and stuff it's not great but it is believed that this tree flowers in May and when it does that the fairies dance around it to celebrate the arrival of summer. Now it's also believed that if this tree is found standing on its own it is supposed to have magical powers. Some legends don't just limit fairy forts to the fairies. They also believe that leprechauns hide their gold in fairy forts because they believe that it is the safest place for them to hide their gold. 
because it's not that safe to hide it at the bottom of a rainbow, I assume. But because the superstition of people not disturbing fairy forts, that it's probably the best place to hide gold anyway. Now, it's not just limited to fairies and leprechauns. Modern day tales also believe that fairy forts are like a entrance or portal to the spirit world. And there has been a lot of tales of mysterious things happening there or mysterious things appearing there. So I don't know, but it's really interesting. Well guys, what do you think? Do you think that there's a protection spell around these fairy forts? that stop people from disturbing them so that they can live peacefully? Or do you believe it's some silly superstition that they made up over time? Either way, I'm not going to run the risk of having bad luck or mysteriously dying. No thanks, I'm all right. I would recommend that you leave them alone as well. If you see it, just walk on by. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you have some stories about fairy forts of your own, please do share. I'd love to hear about it and hear other people's tales. So exciting. Of course, if you find my channel exciting or interesting and it might be of some interest to you, please do subscribe. We'd love to have you. And of course, Hit that bell if you want to be notified when I upload. Guys, sending you so much love and light your way. I really do appreciate you watching. And have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye guys.